Hi guys, welcome to Sip9. In this video, I do the memory series natin on uh, LaTeX, no? Sa previous video, pinag-aralan natin kung paano ba mag-code ng uh, math expressions containing uh, exponents and subscripts, no? In this video, pag-aralan naman natin yung fractions. Okay, so pag nag-code tayo ng fractions, Ang code niya ay uh, Siyempre pag math no? uh, Gaya ng napag-aralan natin Dapat naka-enclose siya sa Dalawang dollar sign So pag nag-code tayo ng fraction Ang code niya ay slash Backslash And then frac no? Kikita nyo naman uh, Just uh, click this And yung una Yung una na uh, close o yung una na enclosed in curly brackets sinong yung numerator. So kung halimbawa pag uh, tatype tayo ng one half sila lagay natin yung one sa unang uh, enclosed uh, space no? tapos yung two sa pangalawa. No? So this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So pwede natin i-save and then let's look at the output no? by clicking the run uh, button. By the way, this is the third uh, video in this uh, tutorial series, no? maliban no, sa intro natin. So, hindi ko na pinaliwanag yung mga nandito na nakalagay. No? Uh, discuss na yan sa previous video. So, balikan nyo na lang if uh, you don't understand. Number two, we have, paano kung formula na 4 pi r cubed over 3. So, volume formula for volume. So, volume is equal to 4 pi r cubed over 3. So, yung 4 pi, pi r cubed, yun yung ating uh, numerator. So, yun yung nasa una. So, 4 pi or, remember sa previous uh, video yung exponent ay caret and then yung 3, no? 4 pi r cubed over 3. Okay? So, yung pi, pwede natin yan lagyan ng backslash para maging character siya na pi. So, save and run. Ito yan, no? 4 pi r cubed. Now, for the third formula, we have paano kung y minus y sub 1, formula ng slope, m is equal to y sub 2, oh, fraction pala muna tayo. So, fraction, ano yung nasa uh, taas? Diba? y sub 2 minus y sub 1, napag-aralan na rin natin yung subscript sa previous video, over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Tignan natin. Ano yung maging itsura niya? Okay, so ito siya, no? y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay. Next, we have Paano pag 1 half divided by 3 fourths? Paano yun? 1 half yung kanyang numerator, tapos 3 fourths yung denominator niya. So, dalawang fractions yun. In fact, tatlo, no? Yung una, uh, dito sa loob ng numerator niya, 1 half. So, that's another fraction. Meaning, I'll type another frac, no? So, this is 1 half. Now, remember, ito yung buong Buong ito from here to here. Sorry. Should be one half. From here to here, yan yung numerator natin, which is also a fraction, di ba? And then yung denominator natin, another fraction, maglalagay din tayo ng frac, no? Three-fourths. Okay? So, ito, from here to here, ay yung numerator niya, and from here to here, is the denominator. 
So dapat kita niyo yung pares ng ano, yung pares ng ano ha, ng um, curly bracket. So yung dalawang red na yan magkapares, yung closing 3, yung uh, dalawang red na yan ay magkapares in closing 4. And this one in closing the entire denominator. So yung pairing niya dapat tama. Okay, check natin kung ano magiging itsura. Okay, so ito siya, no? One half uh, divided by three fourths. Okay. May mga fractions na medyo complicated. Halimbawa, yung numerator niya ay 1 plus 1 over x. Tapos yung denominator niya ay 1 over x plus 2 over x. Paano yan? Yung numerator niya ay 1 plus, tapos yung fraction, 1, full number, plus yung fraction na 1 over x. Tapos yung denominator niya ito, yun yung 1 over x na fraction plus 2 over x na fraction. So, 1 over x na fraction, and then plus another fraction na 2 over x. Let's check kung ano magiging itsura. Okay, so, yung numerator niya ay 1 whole number plus 1 over x. And then all over uh, 1 over x plus 2 over x. Okay, so that's it. I think uh, pwede yung explore na pwede kayong mag-investigate kung paano pa nag-work yung fractions. So, kayong invite sa ating... Uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash ipnmph. Uh, huwag nyo kalimutang i-share sa friends ninyo itong ating channel. I'll see you in the next video.